This might be a heavy subject. In fact, for some, it might be just too light, just barely scratching the surface. But it's an everyday subject. And if you're not facing it today, trust me, your day is coming. Because that's how fast life is moving. And really, there is nothing that we can do as human beings or even as an animal on this planet that can slow this monkey down. But we're all going to face this subject that I'm going to be talking about today. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. And today we're reading from April 18th, 2024. When the old guys and women you used to look up to are no longer around, it's your turn to shine. This is hard to digest. My wife and I have been a part of this community, this neighborhood, for 36 years. That's more than half of our life. We've seen so much change, which now includes us being quite possibly the oldest on the block. Those that once walked in these shoes have now transitioned. The same is true about all walks of life, including businesses and entertainment. When history opens the door for you to be at the top of the ladder in age and experience, now what? Just like small children, nobody teaches you about the next levels in life. Because I didn't sit around asking my mother, how do you deal with these moments after middle age, mom? She just kept working. She was unstoppable and people respected her for it. But to be that person, the one love because of their age and determination, was there something else my mother wanted to be remembered for? Ooh. We all know somebody that has brought the empowerment and the inspiration to our paths, and that's how we were shaped. But as they age beyond middle age, where did their image take place? Those that were once general managers or CEOs, when they step down from their positions of business, what do they become? I have read so many articles that people, once they break away from the business world, they get into animals, they get into nature, they get into everything that they didn't have time for while being so damn busy like my mother. When I was told that my mother was going to officially stop, my heart sank because I know how I am at 61 and how I know I don't have the guts or the courage to look at the 14 year old self that is still living inside of me saying, we're done, we're done. Because I have a feeling that 14-year-old self is going to look at me and he's going to say, can I have one more chance? Just one more chance. And if I say no, he's probably going to kick my ass. And, and that's when troubles begin to happen. But I want to plant this seed inside your soul. Is there something that you want to be remembered for? But as you begin to age out, nobody remembers you for what you've done. I'm going to give you a good example, and I'm very transparent, and I'm very grateful for the many years that I've been in terrestrial radio. But if you were to bring up my name to anybody who listens to the radio today, terrestrial radio, they would go, who? Who? Yeah. Learning to live as it used to be. Musicians do it all the time. So do actors, directors, authors. I used to be. Being in that moment of used to be and still having the courage to say, but I want to be remembered for blank. That's where I challenge you. What do you want to be remembered for? I'm Arrow, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.